So we're here at Fusion 360 and as you have seen in the intro that my old soap holder is gone for it has serviced me for quite some time and for today we will design a soap holder in replacement that to that. I may change the design of this in later time so this may change the model that you can see in Thingiverse and my mini factory and also my Thingiverse and my mini factory account is listed in the description below so let's get started so first we need to sketch a rectangle then this rectangle is around 80 millimeter by 100 millimeter Okay, this is our basis as a rectangle. And then we need to round these corners, the four corners. We just click on these four corners. And then we change the corner to 10 millimeter. Okay. And then we change the view into the isometric view. And then we finish this sketch. And then we extrude the sketch into about 30 millimeter. And then this, the whole bottom, we need to fillet for about 10 millimeter. Okay, and then, and then the next thing that we need to do is to make a shell about 2 millimeter to make the inside hollow so that's it it most it looks like more like a soap holder already then the next thing that we need to do is to make a hole on this side of the side of this model so we go on top we'll take that a bit and sketch don't uh, click on the surface any, in, in, in any surfaces on the model but get rather click on the plane top plane and then we need to make a square on this side that is about 15 meters by 15 meters and then we finish sketch and then we go to our isometric view and then we need to extrude this up to take out some parts or cut some parts of this model that we are making okay then I don't like this rough corners so we need to round that up we need to round these corners at about 3 millimeter and then the lids this top lids need to round this also at about 25 Okay, the next thing that we need to do is to create the notch for this part and this part. So we need to sketch this part and then we need to make a line that is 5mm above this line. and it should be on this line not the second the other the other line and then we do sketch and we need to extrude this 
Oh, uh, it's a millimeter. And we need a jumper on its sides. By two millimeter also. I'm making this notch because I want this to hold the strainer like that. to look at this on the other side. There's a round corner on the side, so that's it. And then we finish sketch. And then we need to extrude this about two millimeter. And then, same as last time, we need to chunk for this sides into two millimeter. First body is done. Now we need to rename this this body. We will name this as so body. Okay. Then the next thing that we need to do is to create this trainer. The strainer will be at about, let's say, hmm, 74 millimeter. Check our model here. This should be 94. Okay, so it's supposed to be 74 millimeter by 94 millimeter. Then we need to corner the edges by 7 millimeter. like that. That's correct. And then we finish the sketch and we go to the isometric view. Then we extrude the sketch at about 3 millimeter. Then we need to corner all the sides by 0.5 millimeter. And then the next thing that we need to do is to sketch on top of this and that we will make some holes of this to strain the waters. So we need to sketch two rectangles. So what we need to do is to make this like this and the other one supposed to be like that. And then we need to round this and just by 1.5. Then we finish the sketch and go to our asymmetric view. Then we need to extrude this out to make a hole. Then we need to create a pattern. Yeah, just a rectangular pattern. Then we select these two objects and select direction. I think I need to select this side. And the direction will be. I mean, I think that's a mistake. Mm -hmm. 
not faces but features more features Should be eight numbers. Spacing of eighty five millimeter. Nothing to do with that again. So make we'll make a pattern out of this two holes. Pattern rectangular. And then we need to create select features. Spacing. And the quantity will be eight numbers, and the distance will be 85 millimeter. This two for oh, select, and then action. Yeah, that's wrong. I forgot how to make it. Oh. Make a pattern. This. Faces. Components, bodies, features. This. And this. This. Okay. It's like this. Two. Then we select the direction. Hmm. All goes that way. Hmm. It goes this way, and then. Eight numbers and then negative eighty five and hmm. should be seven numbers. Okay, and then this. <coughs> okay, and then this. Uh, two holes we need to copy all the way into th this model to make some patterns. So click in the pattern, just a reg regular pattern. Then we select features, and then click in these two holes. Select the direction first. Just click anywhere, and then drag on this side. I need to delete this, but it should be in the here only. And seven. Ah, oh, yeah. This should be like it. And then click OK. And our model is nearly done. And the next thing we need to do is to chamfer the edge of all these holes. Just the top part only. This will help to, to drain the waters from the soap. We need to chamfer this by two millimeter. And then we need to change the name of this to hmm, folder. Is trainer soap holder strainer okay and then
And then the next thing that we need to do here is, of course, to save this into our project folder. Here. And then we name this so, folder. Save. And what we need to do is, because I want to print this separately, because this might not uh, fit in the 3D printer, and I want to print this two on different colors. This will be green and this will be black. Maybe we need to change the material. We need to change the plastic. Any plastic will do. Just plastic will do. We'll click on this. We edit advance appearance. Hmm. The color will be black. Okay. Okay. Then the next one will be hit this one. And we need to edit this advance. Appearance will be green, not this green. Okay, this is how it's supposed to look like this, and we need to. Save this to into different files, into a different STL files for us to print into a different um, timing in the 3D print. And for that, you need to right click this and save to STL. Click OK. And for the meantime, we just save it in the desktop. Okay, that's done. And then the other one. Same process. Save in the desktop also. And then that's done. So here is our model in Cure. And I think I don't need to change something on this um, printing profile. I'm using CHP profile, which I've taken from Chuck Hollybock. Shout out to him. Thanks for the profile. Then we just need to slice this and save it to file. And we will save that later on the micro SD. The next one is to open the strainer. And there you go. This is the strainer, and the same thing, we'll just slash this, save the file, and we'll put this in the printer, and let's roll the time lapse. And here is the finished soap holder and by the way that's it for this week hope you enjoy it and of course if you like this video don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to be notified every time I upload new video and if you have questions comments or suggestions feel free to ask in the comments section below see you guys again next week as always keep creating cheers